Oh my god. How we feeling, Matt? Bro, your internet sucks. I've been trying to connect for a minute. No yeah. way. Dog, you're yeah. hosting like a motherfucker and I and your shit's like booty. iPhone seven, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. That's the yeah. AT&T 2013 that. deal. I, imagine <laughs> having bro, what, imagine you having have, dude, you were born in I bet 2013. You, I bet you still have a home <laughs> button, don't you? <laughs> Do you still have a home button? Do you still have oh, an okay? You have board? a home button, bro. Bro, I don't, I, mean, I, don't, I kind of fuck with the home button. <laughs> bro. Nah, no. Come on, Matt. Matt, we got to get shit offensive, bro. You snort the CBD, bro. S- snort CBD? <laughs> yeah, bro. You say you snort that you know, CBD? And so, on, on some real, on some, like, super real shit. Hell yeah, bro. I, 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 can, I, can, I can get some CBD isolate right now. Out of my fridge and snort that. But Fuck it would, yeah, we it, it would it. burn so fucking bad. I'm not trying to do that right now. What's it do? Give you a head rush? Nothing at all. Does, you, does it work that way? You have to smoke it. So you okay, don't. But, it's not going even. It's not going to do anything. If you snort I mean, it, you should film it. No, because that's just like snorting gasoline, dog. I'm cool for that. I, it I would trust not be me. My I tried. I, I I'm I tried it. I'm good. I'm not gonna do it again. That's that's how bad it was. It like, <laughs> bro. It it melts to the inside of your. Listen to this. You know, have you ever felt wax? Yes. So you yeah. know when you leave wax in your fingers, like yeah, it's, it's just it's like gonna, bro. It's gonna stick to that shit. Yeah. That shit is is an unstable compound. Whatever the fuck is in that shit, bro. It, it's pure CBD, but whatever they use for it, it's it that shit melts to, as soon as it touches your nose. Bro, Man. I was fucking going in there with the fucking the, the the nose trimmer attachment, bro, and gumming that shit up. It wouldn't work, bro. There was so much in there gummed up. I'm cool. I'm not snorting no more CBD wax. <laughs> bro, stick to pot, brother. Man, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> just I'm gonna just keep injecting my shit. Just keep it I wasn't even fucking with that shit either. Injecting like the C B D droplets. <laughs> Fuck that mom. I'm smoking I'm doing it. drugs. Take Mike, have you ever done yeah. cocaine? No. Yeah, you're missing out, dog. I'm only smoking weed. Uh, you're missing out. You you know what you should do is combine go medical, smoking though. with the cocaine. <laughs> that shit probably different, bro. It's it, bro. It hits in a whole different way. What about you? you what that, you about uh, uh, your cultured spores? Oh, those be uh, hitting. Want to talk about culture? You, a man of culture, I see. A man of live culture. I mean, those are cool, but I'm not. I'm not a psychedelic guy. I don't really like mushrooms or none of that shit. I did DMT before. I'm cool. That shit got scary. For yeah, all right, Joe Rogan. Damn. On, on, like on some real shit, bro. I, I've tried. I've done DMT on top of weed, melted down, and. I had the best high like that, but then I also had the worst high like that. I've dabbed DMT. I've uh, hit a DMT cartridge. I've snorted DMT. That doesn't work either, and that also burns. Uh, yeah, bro. I, like I was all about the DMT at one point, and then I just had one trip that was just like it was. It, it, what basically, it, it basically told me. It t- it, I don't want to go into detail about it. No, let's go into detail, okay. man. What the hell? Are you Wait, bro, about? I want to know. Nah, every single... Damn. Okay. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to hear right, the bad so, trip. So, so the DMT <laughs> trip that ended my entire lust for you know I'll that that free. that extra that extra consciousness. Yeah, extra like, consciousness. I, it, it, I admit. bro. It totally, <laughs> it totally made me not want to do psychedelics anymore. So basically, I did for the first time. I like prepared myself for it, and I did this whole yoga thing. Now my big ass is like six four two fifty. 260 on a good day but i was doing yoga bro and working up a sweat <laughs> before this i've never done this before so my mind was in a completely different like fuck i have to have a good trip i'm doing all this shit i'm, I'm bro i fucking went out there and i put half a gram of dnt on top of a bowl of weed and i melted it down until it got soaked into the weed and then i put just a little bit more weed on top mm-hmm fucking killed that entire bowl 
exhaled and I was outside. I was living on Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, literally two minutes away from the strip uh, oh. on this hotel. And you could, there was lights and everything and it's, it's, you know, it's bright, but then there's this tree that blocks the majority of my view out from my balcony. So I hit that shit. <laughs> with with my air with my my headphones in, listening to uh, music and shit, and the tree turned into a lion that was on fire. And I'm, sure. bro. As soon as I hit it, everything turned golden, yet like golden yellow, and the tree was moving like it was on like it was a lion's face that was on fire. <laughs> and I, bro, I'm I'm rolling like face melting off of this fucking off the edge of the earth, bro. And I'm sinking into my my outside my little outside fucking uh, uh, it's like a little beanbag chair, but it's not a beanbag chair. It's like soft, and I'm fucking falling into that fucking thing, bro. And I keep I keep feeling like I'm about to fall through something, bro. And then <laughs> I'm like, all that's going through my head is just the thought, the or like the phrase that's telling me. Stop playing, stop playing, stop playing, stop playing. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean, bro? Like, I'm trying to stop playing right now. Like, I'm trying to stop playing with all this shit. Like, I'm cool. Basically, after after I got out of that high, um, I just snapped out of it. The tree slowly stopped kind of having, like, that golden little uh, light trail that, was, like, every single branch had, like, a golden light trail. So it made it look like it was on fire. But everything started to slow down. And I could see that it wasn't really on fire. It was just the, the, the light, the golden light that was following anything that was moving, like my hand, anything. And I was able to process it all <clears> after. <throat> and it basically stopped playing, man. Stop playing with the psychedelics like it's a drug to get high and have fun with. It's not, a, it's not for that. Like, it's, for, it's a tool. Bro. It's a tool that you're supposed to get answers with. And the, and the question I asked was, can I get high as fuck doing this and have a good? No, that's not what this is for, and that's ex- 100%. That's exactly like it. That's the lesson that I learned from that. And after that, I just oh, that's crazy. And that was my second to last psychedelic experience. And then my last one was pretty recent. I took an entire mushroom bar, and then that one was really, really bad. <laughs> that one was really Did bad. You that, go that, into that, it with the same mindset. No, I went into well, I went into that one to just have a light trip. I didn't realize how much was in it, so I ate the whole bar because I thought it was like a cool eight, but there was like six grams in it. So oh my God. yeah, so now nah, I rounded I rounded Neptune with that one, bro. I was I was with the, I was with <laughs> what the, the hell does that mean? My, my guy, I was with the aliens. Listen said, to I it, rounded like, Neptune with that one, bro. I, 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 bro, I rounded I was, Neptune with that one, bro. It was it was a rap, bro. Your so ass up. that one that one was that one was bad though. That one was like the whole time. Well, it was cool. Imagine the... tripping and just going in it with that negative ass mindset. No, I no, no, no. I know, no bro, hey, bro. listen, listen, I, listen. I, <laughs> Kyle got a buck. Son, chill, man. I, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't go in with a negative mindset. I went in with the most, bro, positive all the way through. Yeah, trees, Somehow that lions. shit. Bro, that bro, my shit man was trying to. Matt up. was trying to get fried. Dog, that <laughs> shit creeps in, bro. So. Listen, listen to me on this, bro. They that like oh, I'm chilling, shit. bro. So well, let's so, talk about police brutality. I think you we should, should give police more access to military style weapons. You I said who's police, a bad person? I think the we should replace police cars with armored vehicles and tanks. I think we should have full time access to Area Fifty One in the Pentagon. No, so, no, you don't. I I've just, been there. You don't I, want to see that shit, bro. I what was there, the bro? Craziest no, wait, no. thing, bro. I'm serious. They, somebody said, "What if Area Fifty One ain't got no aliens? What if Area Fifty One's where they got all the children at?" Yeah, and I was like, "Whoa, hang on." Yeah, Chill, I don't know nothing bro. about that. We can't take that turn. Yeah, the legal yeah, reasons I'm gonna say turn. I don't either. Bro, y'all, y'all, y'all seen that shit with the uh, like the women trafficking text messages, John? Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, we got a package for you." I got Whoa. that shit the other day, bro. That shit's real as fuck. Bro, it is, and like all the mainline bitches are getting it too. So scary. But I got a VPN, bitch. We don't lack. Wait, did you answer it? <laughs> nah. You, you should have pulled up, bro. You should. Bro, I, there was a link. They just do a link. So, like, as soon as you click the link, it's an IP grab, like. No, 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 no. What? No, no. Click on it. 
It's a it's no. a free mail order bride. <laughs> Damn, hey, send me that link. Oh god. That's what I'm uh, saying. You want a link? I'm saying what do you th- yeah. what do you think my addicts below? Damn, y'all just gonna be quiet or what? Shut up, Mac. I'm jacking off. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, Clyde got thought the... I, Clyde thought got I heard his, some tweezers clicking. Clyde got a shorty in the room. All right, bro. We got to take... We got to take <laughs> this to a more... Uh... About to take this All right, bro. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Bro. <laughs> what the hell? It sounded like fucking... Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. shit. All right, but besides, so, besides all that, all right, what do we have? We the have shit that about. happened in Wisconsin. Yeah, what, what do we know? What I do just we like know about that this? His name was Kyle, and <laughs> I think that's it. Kind of far. Like, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I have no idea where this conversation is going to end up. But I'm so glad it finally started because I got to go pee real quick. Unless y'all want me to bring the phone, and you can listen. Well, no. Hell yeah, bring yeah, the phone, bring bro. Fucking nigga, bring the phone, the phone for real. No, yeah, bro, you don't even there. need to go. That's to be monetized. On top of the phone. Just piss your pants, bro. <laughs> I, like, I don't want it. Okay, I'm going to go for you, bro. Here, I'll film it Just on my other phone, and then I'll send it. Okay. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Matt. What's up, bro? How, how, up how, I got man? a couple what, questions, what? actually. What's up? What's up? Go ahead. So you... I, I seen... I, I, I listen to the podcast, like... I think I listen to seven. Six or seven, I don't know. You and a lot of them, so. But I, I remember hearing that you was like, do you have any charge or past charges? Uh, do I? Uh, yes, yeah. I do. How many? Uh, just one. It was a uh, just possession of a possession without intent to sell. I had over an ounce, and it was just a fine. But oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's like the literally one. the only thing I have. The only thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't been inside. I'm not one of those guys. I, there, I'm bro. Really, cra- I I remember but, now. Now that you're saying that, because you got like bailed out or some shit for hell of no, no. I had to go. I had to go bail my buddy out. He was, oh yeah. There was yeah. there was some there was some domestic violence shit that happened at his house, and his girl Jeez. set him up. Set him up, and it was some it was some bullshit. I went in there with. Where the you ID. posted at? Where you live at? Uh, I live in in Henderson. It's it's a city that's right outside Vegas. Oh okay okay. So you still, that's why you got the gas, because the gas is out down in Vegas. Yeah, but it's all recycled through Cali, so, you know, you kind of have to make yeah. your own, you kind of have to make your own way up to where the source is. Sure. <laughs> Every, everything is always going to be recycled through Cali. You ever be going to, like, them fat-ass dispensaries, like them nice joints? No, nah, I stay away from those. Those are, uh, those, they oftentimes are filled with mids, and they're overpriced. <laughs> Like, you think I, you just order from like different companies or some shit? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> say that. <laughs> yeah. No, Philly's Philly's mid. Man, I I I bet. <laughs> yeah, bro. But like medics, like let's say you get a a thorough eighth, sixty dollars. Oh. From the dispo. Funny. Wow. So they draw on us. I mean, is it, it? it's not even, is it some kill? Yeah, bro. Like, you getting some pack. Like, my man okay. be pressing. He got the Nug Smasher. You probably know what that shit is. You be pressing that, that shit. You, wait, hang on. You're pressing Nugs? Oh, no, no. My man's got to grow. Like, he just actually just trimmed the harvest. And it's, like, drying, like, two, three, three, two, three weeks He's gonna uh, press like half of the uh, harvest in the nug smasher. So he's, but but he's gonna smash the nugs. Nah, nah. You know what? It's like a press. Yeah, yeah. I know the press. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah he's gonna take the. He's gonna take a you rosin. Put him in press. like the bag. Yes. Is then, he doing yeah. the buds, the actual buds, or is he yeah. doing hash rosin? He actually did. Uh, he like did fucking the leaves and shit, and like all the access. He got so he, all the so, hash rosin to that. Okay, so he did a, a, a trim. He run did a press with today, his but run. he's not doing that. He's like doing the nose. Because if I would recommend something, and it, it, it's only for personal opinion, so don't take it as if it's fact. But I yeah. think flower rosin is terrible. I think it is all chlorophyll. 
It's there. Yeah. It's, it's the it's the lowest quality. So if I if your boy's got some gas, I would recommend for you to tell him, don't waste your fucking weed doing that, bro. Right? You think? Yes, please, please let him know that because everybody in in California would clown people doing that. It's like really, the, it's the funniest thing, bro. Well, bro, Pe- it's people in think Philly and Philly, bro, like we are the goddess. <laughs> like dog, you people. Don't... Do not do that to buds in Cali. People, the rosin you see that comes out of Cali is all made from ice water hash or dry sip hash. It's not. Yeah, that it's, shit's probably insane. It's, it's it's so it's such a low return. You're looking at like a four to five percent on the high end return from your total starting material weight, just to get something solvent a solventless extract. That shit goes for like a hundred and ten dollars a gram. And yeah, and like blue gas, gas. You know what that shit is. What, what what is that? You know Jolioli custom grow. <laughs> Unfortunately, <Dude>. yeah. <laughs> of course. Fucking boom gas. You know that shit. Like boom dabs. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too big on like that type of stuff. I'm more into the uh, like the growing and the breeding side of the industry. Yeah. Uh, Jolioli also smokes meth, so. Like, oh, like, like like super heavy just fyi <laughs> Yo. uh bro that's, yeah uh, there's there's fat meth heads just so you know in case you ever had that question that's a thing bro if you smoking that much at like bro that man is not happy with himself only a, only a... <laughs> <laughs> you just can't can't argue that conversation you smoking oh. too damn much you getting no pussy you doing nothing else you smoking weed bro bro you don't know how right you are right now bro jesus like, that man <laughs> that, that man got suck. sheesh bro but, but anyway you know, the boom that's... gas like <laughs> boom gas <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong. I mean, he's 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 a funny guy, but oh yeah, I, I'm gonna let, I, I just put it out there. Let y'all know, like, how uh, current is that? Yeah. Is that like current? That oh, he, that, that that's current. very current. That's oh, very current. That's have, a fucking I, shame. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of like why him and his girl kind of had problems to begin with. Why they were oh, yelling at each other while he was going live and shit. Because <laughs> they're 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 off the glass. They're smoking each other's stash, bro. Like. Yes. Like when that when that YouTube advertisement money cut off and all they had to rely on was their own two hands and what they and their own two feet, like that shit fell through hard when you got an addiction. <laughs> Does so, he have any? He, do you think he has any sponsors or anything? Um. Yeah. Of course. Like any I mean, payway. Of course, he's got sponsors, but I don't think they're anything like, you know, that pays a, a substantial amount. Now you know about yeah. the dad and granny situation. <laughs> no, but I follow her on Instagram. I don't know about like I know she said the N word on live <laughs> super hard, oh, and God, then canceled. She got the she had the opportunity to apologize twice, and she ended up saying the N word again. The hardest of our no way. She, she, said, it she said it again. Yeah, she said it again. She so said it's she's just a, fucking she said racist. It, oh, it's it's a rap. It's a rap. She it's said it's a rap. It's it's a rap. Dog. Paper or plastic. Bag it up. They, they, I, I want to. I'm actually gonna look at that after this is over. I'm gonna look at the second zone, but the first shit, like that shit, like what? Hey, you said sponsors. I was like right away. Oh, Dab and Granny. She lost all of her sponsors. <laughs> right. <laughs> she. How are you done pissing yet? The fuck. <laughs> Kyle's not done pissing. Oh, Kyle's bro. clapping cheeks, bro. Kyle. Kyle's bro. getting to it. Bro, I don't worry Kyle's about what I'm doing. Like... <laughs> that's the only. That's the only thing that's gonna get him to talk. Uh, that's the only thing that's gonna get him to say anything. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have stayed quiet the whole time. <laughs> I'm just listening to y'all's podcast, like man. <laughs> bro, the sexual tension, brother. No, I wouldn't say all that. Well, not yet. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but you done pissing yet, Kyle? Are you done? <laughs> I didn't hear no toilet flush. Not one sink go on and off. Yeah, you grimy mm-hmm. ass you motherfucker. Out here, to help out here spreading COVID to everybody. I don't see one video evidence. You say you was going recording your other phone. Yeah, I'm not trying to just whack out here, bro. I'm disappointed. Right now. But y'all be patient. Y'all sound like pissed off ex girlfriends right now. <laughs> 
Hey, shout out my be a pissed off girlfriend, bro. You gonna have a lot of mad DMs as soon as it gets posted. What? As soon as this gets posted? Oh yeah. <laughs> bro, oh, you already know. I hope all the DMs are people trying to justify it. <laughs> I, I hope. I hope so. Bro, people just like I'm to talk to about listen. that. Shit. I'm down to listen, dude. We can like debate. That's the thing. Like, right. I'm built different. <laughs> Like, literally, bro, I don't I can, mind. I can debate with somebody and go back. We can go back and forth. We can, we can quote facts back and forth. All day. I don't mind if somebody as as wants facts. to come. If it's factual and you can back it up with logic and reason, exactly, and it's morally right, then I have no problem debating you. But the problem like, is, people just get mad as soon as I mention something that's morally right, backed up by logic and fact and statistics. No, like, people, people, it, get, like, mad. Just get mad. Yeah, and no. I see what you're saying, but the, the but well, people just get mad in general when it's something that just goes against whatever they believe in. And if they believe that every single white per, every single white kid with a gun is a fucking school shooter and is a fucking is a red flag law waiting to happen, it's like that wasn't just no idea that was formed overnight because they heard somebody got killed by a cop. You know what I'm saying? Like that's mm-hmm. one of the, like that but it that is. that's. <laughs> been in their head bro and that's like i don't mind if you come with facts i don't mind if you come with an actual argument because i i will entertain that but if you just come with that whole bullshit with no fact i'm gonna just personally i don't just, even really be getting into that shit bro like no, people force into their way into it people no like not it. even like that like I, my circle just knows how i move and like like i have my morals like i think how i think and like, you know, I like that shit just happens. Like I don't make my shit public. You feel me? Like I, I independently think. And when I feel like, like shit's been shit's been critical as hell lately with everything that's going on. Like this 2020, bro, shit's crazy. Yeah, that shit fine. And Back. like, you have to involve yourself. That I've realized. Like, and like I'm trying to open my mind to it. And like, my family. Bro, like, I'm gonna be for real, hate Trump, bro. That's not, and like, I know, but like, at the same time, like, I have the option to think how I want to think, but I'm at the age where, like, I don't even really, I'm just starting to think about it. You feel me? How old are you? 17. Oh, yeah, bro, let's do it. Let's talk. So, like, nah, we'll get you right. If you feel me, like, that shit's like, I've been growing up in a household that thinks what they think, so like, that's not good. At the same time, like, you know, no, it's. It's, no, it's good. It's good. It's just I mean, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's, it's good. how it's how it works, bro. It's like, good. Well, how did you grow up? Like you, you, your dad like a Trump. Yeah, I know your dad a Trump supporter. My dad is a Trump supporter. <laughs> is he? He might be the biggest Trump supporter. He might be. No, I mean I remember <laughs> seeing it. A- like maybe in the state. Like yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, bro. What about your mom? You got a mom's? Well, I did. You did? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, don't be. I'm not. Well, uh, my, uh, my parents, like, what they do? They, my mom, like, I don't know, bro. It's, it's like different household. It's crazy. Wait, bro, so they I'm don't, not... they don't see the problem in Joe Biden touching kids the way he touches kids. Oh, no, bro. Like in the main line, Who? it's so fucking weird, bro. <laughs> because you drive by houses, they got flags. They got, they got fucking, uh, what they got? Like Joe Biden flags. They got Trump flags. It's like neighbors, bro. They be f- flagging the fuck out of themselves. Like they got Damn. a Joe Biden flag right next to a Trump supporter. And they be like fucking with each other. You drive down a whole street, it's like political. F- it's fuck. That shit, bro. Fine. And it, it, like, <laughs> you come to the like Philly and shit, you find a Trump flag, bro, in Philly. Uh-oh. It's like you're done. Who's like, done? That's you. You don't rap that shit in Philly, bro. Like that's the problem. Like people who do that are real bold, because like everybody. I don't know, bro. So if I if I had a Trump flag and I walked it and I was walking around in Philadelphia minding my own business, I wasn't even saying anything. I was you probably get hella attention, like you feel me? Oh, I'm so down. Like yeah, that's good. That's like, good. It'd be good for the page. Yeah, it'd be good for the page. It'd be good content. Like you would definitely get hella attention. Like would people, people would people down. like? Do you think people would put their hands on me? 
I don't think people would put your hands on you. No, I mean, no, like, depending on mind. where in Philly you're da- you're down to, like, go. You feel me? Oh, I'm not. Like, they might right. put I'm your not, hands on you. He's trying to go to the hoods, bro. He's like, trying to go to the hoods. If you go to South, bro, or North, nah, I'm going to catch some the, hands. Like, if, mainstream, I, like, you know, what do you like, MTV main, type of? Oh, yeah, you come to Main Street, like, my area, you get some, like, content. You get some, like, arguments. You feel me? Yeah, I'm not. You get some, like, shouts. But I'm just trying to. I'm trying. You're to not gonna get right shot down in the main street, but that's crazy. Yeah, that's probably what a lot of people say. That's wild. In Vegas, there's motherfuckers that just walk around with the MAGA hat on, and that nobody says anything. The Trump 2020 hat, nobody says anything. Occasionally, Bro. like I've I've been kick, I've kicked it with people that were wearing the hat or wearing a Trump shirt, and then like some people will look and some people will say some shit, but people aren't really gonna come up to you because. The state is a uh, a will issue CCW state, and it's an open carry state. From eighteen up, you can open carry a AR, you can open carry a, a a shotgun. Now, ain't nobody doing that, but the gun laws are so liberal, everybody knows that if somebody, everybody, eighty percent chance somebody got something. Right. So nobody's really trying to test nobody out there. Facts. But nobody really puts themselves in that position. I mean, if you wear the way that I see it, yeah, I'm a, I, I, I'm. I would say I'm a Trump supporter, but I, I mainly support him because of how much of a fucking troll he is. And he's like, bro, the only troll that's bigger than him is Takashi Six Nine. To be real with you, like that's that's the only guy that's that like the bigger troll because he's actually going out of his way to troll. Trump just does it because that he's this rich as fuck. He don't give a fuck what you think. He's doing it to amuse himself. So, but he's so good at it. He's so good at it. It's <laughs> fucking hilarious. So that that's why I'm like, I I. I support him for that reason because I'm I'm a troll myself, but I'm not gonna go and put myself in the line. I know what motherfucker I know what people are doing to motherfuckers that are wearing MAGA hats. Right, they're throwing acid, they're throwing bleach, they're throwing bro. Th- that's the shit that doesn't get recorded. Like that's the they're, problem. They're, they're doing shit like that, so I don't put myself in that position. And I think if you do and you take that risk, that's you know yes, that's free speech, but. Free speech is a very flawed um, is a very flawed right because you're not really entitled to what you can say because if you can't defend what you can say then what you say doesn't matter so you're entitled to what you can accurately and logically defend that's what I so I mean if you can defend why you should wear a Trump shirt and you're ready for just like on the fly like Ben Shapiro ready to just debate any fucking buddy like just yeah, he's, if, he's it, so fucking fire what he does it, bro. <laughs> If you're not Ben Shapiro ready <laughs> for debates, then you shouldn't be wearing a Trump shirt, bro. I get it. You love you Facts, love him, bro. You love him. I get it. Support him. Rock the bumper sticker, bro. Do that. But if you're gonna rock the shirt or the hat and 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 expect no confrontation, and, and especially if you live in a blue state and you're not ready to debate, bro, then you just make every one of us look dumb. Bro, yeah, I seen true. a fucking crackhead in Mania or like when we was getting pizza. And we're waiting for our pizza outside. I'm with like four other heads, Who? and we're like waiting. Crackhead pulls up, got the hat on, runs up on me, pulls a fucking sawed off like revolver I you out say of a his Bible. fucking drawers. He pulls out <laughs> now pulls it out of his drawers. He's like fucking around, get shot. Oh my God. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Pulls it up, puts it back in his fucking drawers. Walks away with his other crackhead. Okay, fucking around with you. And then he puts it away. He was like, Nah, I'm just fucking with you. But it was like in some crackhead ass tone. Has the hat on, walks away, <laughs> and all my heads are, my friends are on their phone, and they don't even realize. I'm like, bro, did you not just see what fucking happened? Walks away with his mans. <laughs> I don't know where they was going, bro. He was probably going to tweak or some shit. Maniunk crackheads be deep. Oh, no, this is Maniunk. Like this is the Main Street area. So this is Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Philly, a whole yeah. different type oh, yeah, of animal. They definitely killed somebody that night. <laughs> Man, fuck bro, like, they, why the they, fuck they you stole that, that gun from their plug, bro. That's exactly what the fuck went down. You think? It's, hell yeah! You I think? actually seen them today, bro. Now that we're talking Dude, about it, I see like, a sawed-off shotgun. Like, what do you? No, a sawed-off. Sawed-off. A snub nose pistol. Why the fuck you get a snub nose pistol? Yeah. Like what the hell? Sorry, How someone called me. Barrel. No, nah, it was like do a barrel roll. I'm not a gun person, so I can't like name it. So imagine a fucking revolver, right? Like okay. a sheriff revolver. You feel me? Yeah. Then cut shit off to like, 
I don't know, two, three inches. So it's not, it's like hella sawed off. Like it's tiny as fuck. You feel okay. Me? And yeah, Why basically. I don't know. That shit was pointless, bro. It scared you. That's just some. Nah, crackheads. bro. I was high as hell, bro. bro. That's, that's just what. That's me. just what crackheads do, dog. Yeah. Like, bro, that's a crackhead <laughs> move, bro. I seen him on his bro. Daily, bro. At this point, that's <laughs> my homie, bro. Okay. <laughs> that's around that one, shot. <laughs> he said, "What's up to me?" The other day, I was turning on my street. <laughs> he tried. He tried bro, to sell you... that motherfucker to you. <laughs> oh, you should fucking rob his ass and then put the same gun in his face, like fuck around and get shot. <laughs> Damn, Matt, you always want to rob somebody. No, no, not really. Just no, crackheads. No, no, no. Come on, Matt. Crackheads be having all the good money and shit. <laughs> still got that, that. Still got the dope kicked it, kicked up on it. Oh, I've been hanging out with the wrong crackheads. Man. I'm telling you, I'm trying to put you on, bro. Vegas is a whole different way. They be living underground and shit. Injected, in bro. The they man. be picking through my trash. I walk outside, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. He looks, bro. They bro. be looking hella like, like, like normal though. Like this kid, he looks like he's nineteen, bro, and he's picking through my trash and like looking at the air and shit. I'm like, bro, like that's fucked. Uh, okay, so what you're saying all is our normal people, people don't live underground. I think there's autistic teenagers that can't get an education, so they just fucking tweak out and fucking pick through Shut my up. trash. Relatable. Imagine being an autistic homeless teenager. Bro, no. I, I think that's sad, exactly bro. what I experienced. But God bless the man. I think being I'd give a one dollar autistic homeless teenager is somewhat part of the American dream. It's bro, got that man place. is hella unfortunate, especially if you're like an immigrant. Yeah, I mean. You too could come like you to can America make a movie. and become like you can make a movie a out of your life. Kid. You know what I mean? And people would actually pay and go watch that. Well, not anymore because COVID and movie theaters are shut down. Thank God. But uh, they gotta stop making those movies that have a positive ending and just make a movie to where the guy just gets spun out and addicted to like meth or something. Dude, that's bottom line. What it comes down to is the fact that everybody wants to see the happy ending in their life and they want to watch. I want to see reality. Too. I want reality to punch me in the face. Dude, oh, it does every day, shit. Bro, it did when I saw oh, Mandela. God. Oh, that was deep. That was deep, bro. Kyle, that was too deep, bro. What? That was too mm. deep, bro. What? Mm. Reality punches me in the face every day. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Does it not? Every time I wake up, I'm just so disappointed, bro. You go to that's sleep? It's different in the heart. He said you go to sleep? Hell, don't worry about what I do, man. <laughs> See, here you go. Worrying about what the fuck I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but speaking oh, about what I got going, Clyde, Clyde don't sleep. No, actually, I do sleep. Believe it or not, and I've gotten better at it. How many hours do you get? Yeah, like, you sleep, but like, it's like every other day. I sleep like a bat. I hang from my ceiling, and that's why you guys wonder why I never sleep. It's because honestly, so that's why the hairline goes up because gravity pulls the hair down. Now, see, now <laughs> you guys are getting too much sauce. This is why I didn't want to talk about this shit. But since you guys are fucking begging me, that is how I sleep. I take my feet with my toenails, and I clip them to the bar, and I hang upside down for no more than three hours at a time. Wait, you got a bar in your ceiling? It's more than one. It really depends on where I, like, get tired. Because you got I'm multiple a... bars in your ceiling? When multiple bars, like, in the living room like and shit? Borderline kitchen. narcolepsy. <laughs> like a bar, like, where they serve alcohol? Well, we got one of those, too, but I try not to go there because then I fall asleep without my bar. If I fall asleep not upside down, I get migraines. So, Sheesh. so you fall asleep like a bat. What ha- What would be the virus if a Chinese man ate you? This is also another reason why I didn't want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> so hell yeah, Kyle sleeps upside down. Kyle sleeps upside no, down. No, Kyle sleeps normal. Clyde sleeps upside down. Oh, all right, all right. All right. So when when Clyde pop up on the scene, how often? This Clyde only at the nighttime? After his sentence? Oh, okay. You don't want me to talk about that? No, let's talk about it. No, I wouldn't talk to you. Why? Because I wouldn't talk. Is it, is it personal? It gets deep. No, nah, you fault. don't want to talk about that, bro? Ain't deep yeah, yet. I mean, it hit that different, bro. All right, he don't want to talk about it. Hell yeah, smoking pot. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's time to hit the bong, All man. Right. Shit. Oh, what's the bong? 
Yeah, God know. damn. That pisses me off. That up. is the best. That's my favorite Kyle, meme out of everything. Kyle, you sauce right now? You saucing? I'm about to smoke a cigarette. He's about to smoke No time. Kyle, to... don't you fucking head. smoke any more cigarettes, you fucking crackhead. You are a nah, sick head. Max, I'm about to smoke. Shake I'm my fucking head. Cigarettes. Eat a cigarette. Do that. <laughs> I'm going to stare at your picture. Make, 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 make cigarette edibles. I took you on FaceTime. And smoke Make a cigarette. cigarette edibles. I'm going to blow it at your face the whole time. And it wouldn't be the first time. Don't deny it. You screenshotted me on FaceTime? Yes, when we were on FaceTime. It was no less than like two hours ago. It's kind of sus, dog. He said sus. Yeah. <laughs> so beyond sus. <laughs> this is borderline. Stop sus smoking today. cigarettes, fool. You should dip. You're in fucking Georgia. You said who? You should dip. You're in Georgia. Bro, Georgia is honestly not that bad. It's a red state, thank God. Thank Trump. How is Georgia? Dude, Georgia is uh it's is kinda, dry. It's kinda like South Carolina. No, dude, it's better than I don't know. Dry. dry. Uh, Atlanta, I well not right now, I guess. You go there, you might get beat up. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Georgia? But smoke weed and post on me, Instagram. You ask asking me what the fuck are we doing in Georgia, like you don't be on the pages every day knowing what it's like. I don't no, so you just be on you just be on the page like like what is no I'm saying like what is, like activity wise nah, nah, like nah, 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 nah. that's all they have is just Instagram they have like that's it that's all they do smoke weed smoke nah, cigarettes like, no nah, like you got you got a Wawa like you got a sheets like what's the fast food looking like yeah Wawa what the fuck is a Wawa what's the Philly John like if you have a sheets it's uh, it's like the a different, a different fast food. you know what that is that's not you know what a sheets is the, you know, the sheets gas station the what what? You, you don't know what that is? Oh, John? Bro, that was... I'm not talking... That's not a thing. That's slang, bro. Hello. I know. I know what a John is. Bro. What the fuck is <laughs> Sheets? What is that? John? What's Sheets? What's what is Sheets? What is Sheets? Sheets gas station. It's like a... You go in, you can order food and shit, but it's also a gas station. Oh, it's like a Maverick, then. Wait, do we even talk Is that about what it's called in your area? A Maverick? Yeah, over here on the on in Vegas, we have a, a Maverick. It's kind of new. Is it nice? It's like a little... It's a fucking gas station. <laughs> yeah, no. So it's it's not nice, it's, but like in, in our area, cool. like the Wawa, like it's nice. You go in, you order fucking a hoagie or some shit. Get a get a fucking. Fuck a I always, hoagie. you don't know. <laughs> said, what the hoagie? fuck, bro? What did I come into, bro? You don't know what a hoagie is. How do you not know what a hoagie? I know what a hoagie is, man. Who says hoagie? It's a sandwich. No, bro. There's a difference. Who there's a fucking hoagie? difference, bro. There's a a Wawa hoagie. Like, no, bro. Imagine they know saying, for. Like, oh, man. But, Mikey, this man is not. <laughs> this, oh, he is, my goodness. He is disconnected right now. I'm, it's cool, bro. No. <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard the term hoagie before, but I've never, ever heard yeah. somebody actually say it. Yeah, I've seen yeah. it on, like, menus and shit. He said that shit. He genuinely meant that shit. Is it a Philadelphia I'll, thing? It, if if Kyle it's knows be. it, it's got to be pretty fucking relevant. This man. How how is what the uh, fuck does that mean, Mike? Knows what? If Kyle knows it. If Kyle, I'm saying you relevant. You feel nah, me? Nah, 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 nah. That was a compliment. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hey, that was, that's a good recovery. Good recovery. Don't be good complimenting recovery. his backhanded ass compliment. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good recovery. Don't be complimenting his backhanded ass compliment. All right, continue, asshole. Hey, Pats or Genos? Just what? in case the next time I go to Philly. Pats or Genos? Hey, wait, repeat that. Pats or Genos? For the Genos. Genos? Oh Why? God, the way he said that. Wait, no, actually, I don't even, bro, I don't even be on that shit. But, like, at the same time, like, I, everybody be talking about that shit so much. Holy shit. Um, Genos. Genos. <laughs> Gino's. He said Gino's. He said talking. No, that, was, that was a football thing. Everybody, we said Gino want a hot dog. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> what? Yeah, keep that a football thing. Like football yeah, coach, that the last right. time you ever say that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this man would swallow glizzies. On God. Son. Oh, God. At the fucking banquets and shit, this man would swallow <laughs> them Jones. <laughs> he said this man was swallowing glizzies. John, god damn it, but 
All right, let's um. What all did we talk about? We had forty-two minutes. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna delete all this shit. It was so bad. Uh, <laughs> we gotta do it again. Shit was kind of fresh. I was only peeing for like maybe a minute and a half. Y'all sat there for like fifteen minutes and just talked. It forgot about my ass. Bro, bro you was doing something, brother. No, because it ain't your podcast, dog. It's mine. It's Matt. We, we know. We know it's who. Matt. We know. We know who pays the bills here, bro. It's Gorilla Mac. Shit, you ain't paid one of my bills, but I'm the down. Mac. If you really want, if you want to prove that love, 